Hello, we're here today to demonstrate how to calibrate your HBLT that is running software version 2.54 or 2.55. 2.55 is the most current version and its calibration procedure is somewhat different than previous models and so this will help you understand how to do that. The procedure is also documented in the manual and that is available online on our website if you if you wish. Um, your HBLT, I, I have it turned off right now so that you can see how to find the software version, but prior to calibration you would want to have this, your, cal your HBLT, in the environment that it's going to be used turned on for about 24 hours so that all the temperatures inside equilibrate and it uh, is ready for calibration. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. <clears throat> and you'll notice on the screen it gives the model the pressure and the model number in this case is a version 2.55 and we'll go ahead and hit go. This takes you to the main menu and under main menu for calibration we go to engineering menu and it's the second choice perform calibration. Here you choose perform calibration again and you have choice of three different engineering units pounds per square inch, atmosphere and bar, we're going to choose PSI. Now there's a series of instructions that will help you calibrate the, the HBLT and here it says open the outlet to the atmosphere and then press OK. So I'm going to hit, it's open as we can see over here, hit OK and we're ready to pressurize. Now we're going to use a digital pressure gauge in this case, it's from a company called uh, Crystal Engineering, and it's an XP2I. And it is more than four times more accurate than the HBLT, which is required for proper NIST calibration traceability. So be, you'll notice that the, uh, it's, it's telling me that we already did the open the port and hit OK and now it's ready for pressurization. One final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zero it just to make sure that it's zeroed and we're ready to go. So I'm going to attach the uh, gauge now and we're using kind of standard lure fittings and I'm now going to hit the pressurization button. So the HBLT has begun pressurizing the gauge. And it's going to stop at 80% of the pressure range of the particular HBLT model that it's connected to. And you'll notice that it's reading 803 PSI and the external gauge is reading 811. We'd really like it to be about within 5 PSI and the reason for that is when we go to maximum pressurization, if the span setting that's already there is a little too high, it might overpressurize. So this just helps us keep it within range. So I'm, I'm just going to hit the up arrow once and you'll notice that it reads 808 on the HBLT and 811 on the external gauge. So that's within the range we want to be. I'm going to go ahead and hit the pressurize button which will take it to the maximum pressure. And we have arrived. It says 1003, but my gauge reads 1009. Now what's most important here is to make these two numbers agree. Okay? And we do that by using the up and down arrows on the HBLT to change the HBLT pressure to equal the external gauge. So here I'm going to hit the big arrow up and it went to 1009 and my external gauge says 1009.2 
I'm going to say that is okay, that's good. It now reduces the pressure in the, in the HBLT <clears throat> and returns to the calibration screen. We can hit escape two times and it takes us back to the main menu. And I can now disconnect the gauge from the HBLT. And that really is all there is to calibrating the HBLT. Now some customers like to challenge it to see how accurate it is right after that and one of the things we recommend is creating a step test, a simple step test for any HBLT and I think we'll just go ahead and do that right now so that you can, you can see how to do it. So I'm going to go to uh, the engineering men menu and I'm going to hit edit test information and I'm going to hit new and I'm going to hit uh, staircase and I'm going to choose PSI and I'm going to use a test name um, uh, uh, um, step Cal. Right. Say OK. And there, I'm not going to use an, an ID for engineer or lot. I'm going to use compliance of one. It doesn't need to be filled. And we're just going to default through here. Burst rate, leak rate, up burst rate, none. Initial pressure. So this is a model 1000. Why don't we do 10 steps at 100 PSI. So the initial pressure is 100. The pressure increment is 100. The maximum pressure I want it to go to is 1,000. And I'm going to do an up rate of nothing too fast, let's say 25. And a down rate of, let's say, 100. And I'm going to do a dwell time of 5 with a maintain of 5. And here I now have a run a test called step cal. For on this screen, I'm just going to go ahead and run it. Okay. So I'm going to take my uh, my gauge again, and it looks like it's zeroed to me. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on, and. You can see the current pressure is zero and the target is 100. Let's hit start. And I'm reading 104 and I see 103. HBLT accuracy is plus or minus 4 psi, and so that's well within tolerance there. 201. 301 and I'm seeing 299.3 401 399.2 Here we 500 and I'm reading 499.8 602, I've got 600.8. 701, I've got 700.3. 801, and I've got 800.7. 901, 902, and I've got 901.7, I think it was. And our last target is 1000, and I see 1002, and I have 1002.1. And now it returns to zero. And we're done. So you have seen how to set up your machine.
for calibration, how to actually do the calibration. You can see it's very simple. And we've even created a step staircase test to challenge it when you're done so that you're confident that it's within, within tolerance. Um, that's how hard it is.